First in-season coaches corner of the year with new head basketball coach for the girls high school team, Jeremy Fessler. You start practice today. What have you got planned for them? Well, we're just going to be doing a lot of uh, defensive drills mainly, uh, trying to get our focus on our defense. We are going to use the uh, AD acronym defensively. It's from Larry Shiat at Wyoming, and he always has great defensive teams. Uh, offensively, they struggle a little bit, but defensively, they're very good. Aggressive disruptive and disciplined. So we're going to really focus on a lot of pressure on the ball, uh, getting in gaps, being able to help, getting up and playing, moving your feet, you moving your hands and we don't want we don't want to let a let a team run a set on us. We want to make them to react to react to us defensively. So we're going to focus a lot on these first few days on defense. You mentioned to me earlier a couple of weeks ago that one thing that you really wanted this team to do is uh, for lack of a better term make games ugly on the defensive end. Really be up in everyone's face. You're going to have a lot of tournament games to prep for the conference season. What do you hope to see out of this first week when you go into Riverton? You don't know who your opponents yet are going to be. You know who they are going to be for Flaming Gorge, but you can't really plan for that at all. So what do you focus on with your team on that side? Well, you know, we with the, the season short in two weeks, we have basically nine practices because uh, we'll practice Saturday, but we had nine practices before our first game, and that's not enough time to get everything you need to in. So th those first few uh, weekends are basically going to be our scrimmages. You know, we're going to use those as a gauge to where we need to be, but we're going to try to get in a couple different presses, a half court and a full, and we're going to constantly be putting pressure on teams. We're going to be trapping all over the court, uh, and we're just going to have we're just going to make the game speed up, and we're going to try to score and transition as much as we can this year. Do you know what the numbers are like for coming out for this year? Or are you going to find out for sure when you go to practice today? Well, we, we won't know for sure. Uh, we know we have a, a barometer of how many kids we have. We're looking at probably around 40 that are trying out, and, and I think that's up about 14 or 15 girls from last year. Most of them, though, are we have about 28 freshmen and sophomores. And so our, our older kids, we, we have about five or six in each of those classes, and then, and then we got a lot of younger kids coming out. Freshmen and sophomores, a lot of times not immediately effective for you, but they're really the core of what you're trying to build, I would guess. Yeah, you know, we will have some sophomores. Uh, based on what I saw this summer that are going to play varsity and they're going to get varsity minutes and there could be a, probably f up to four that are going to get some varsity minutes depending on what happens. Um, but yeah, the sophomores, it's good to have those numbers down there because that's that's where the program is going to be going. So I'm very pleased with having that many young girls coming out. We'll be talking again with you next week as you get ready to go on and take on whoever it is you're playing in Riverton. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.